Want to know what you can and can't do with material that you find in the Dalhousie Library's online databases? For example, can you use an article that you found in a particular database as part of a course pack? Can you include it as part of an electronic reserves or post it in Brightspace? Can you link directly to the article in the database? This video will give you an introduction to library licenses, why they are important, and then introduce you to the library licenses database and how to use it. Dalhousie University licenses many electronic resources for use by its staff, faculty, and current students, including indexes, databases, e-journals, and e-books. Access to these resources is governed by contractual agreements or license agreements with resource providers or vendors, like EBSCO or ProQuest, for example. The agreements, in most cases, stipulate that access to the resource is restricted to current students, faculty, and staff of Dalhousie University. These licenses may also limit the use of material in the database for certain purposes, such as use for electronic reserves, course packs, or sharing with other researchers. In general, use of these resources may only be used for educational and research purposes within the DAL community only, and not shared externally or shared for commercial purposes. It is important that we abide by the terms of our licenses. This is a responsibility shared by faculty, students, and staff. Not doing so can result in the cancellation of or suspending access to the particular database. There are a couple of ways to access the library's licenses database. One way is to simply type in the URL licenses.library.dal.ca. If you access the licenses database this way, you will need to know the database associated with the article or book you want to use. However, there is also an easier way to find the appropriate license information. Let's look at an example with the article Theory Construction in Qualitative Research from Grounded Theory to Abductive Analysis by Timmermans and Tavery. After finding this article in the Novanet catalog, I can click on the full text available link associated with the article. It then brings me to the SFX link resolver page where I can see the options for accessing this resource. If I click on copyright and permissions information below the options, it will bring me to the license page associated with the article. Let's click on the Copyright and Permissions Information link below the SAGE complete version of this article. This brings me to the license page for SAGE Journals Online. From the information provided on this page, I can tell a few things. I can use it as part of an e-reserve for a course. I can incorporate it into a course pack, and I can provide links to other Dalhousie University personnel. Further, if I am a library staff member, I can also send this article via interlibrary loan or document delivery. Let's look at another example. This time, I'll click Copyright and Permissions under the JSTOR version of the article. With this version, I note that I cannot use PDF versions of this article for e-reserves or in course packs. I can only provide links to other Dalhousie personnel. Some resources, like articles published in the Harvard Business Review, don't even allow linking. For these articles, you can link to the Harvard Business Review through Novanet or contact copyright.office at dal.ca for assistance. It's important to note that articles and other resources are often available from several different sources. If you really want to use an article for an e-reserve, but it is not allowed from a particular database, see if it might be available in a different database that does allow that use. By default, these uses are intended for internal use within Dalhousie University, and there are some uses that are not covered on the license page. For example, some licenses allow sharing with external faculty or researchers from other institutions, sometimes called scholarly sharing. If your intended use is not covered by the license page or appears to be forbidden, please contact copyright.office at dal.ca for assistance. Another limitation is that the license page does not cover the copying or sharing limits for e-reserves and course packs. By default, you should apply Dalhousie's fair dealing guidelines when sharing physical or digital copies of works. This means if the license allows e-reserves or course packs, you can share one article per journal issue. However, some licenses allow more. If your use exceeds the fair dealing guidelines, please contact copyright.office at dal.ca for assistance. We can seek permission for your use or find alternatives. 
Whenever possible, we recommend linking to material over physical or digital copying. Linking is almost always allowed for most databases, and when done appropriately, can be a very effective way to provide students direct access to the resources found in the library's databases. The fair dealing limitations on copying do not apply to linking, and linking provides both the vendor and libraries with useful data about what resources are being used most often and what resources should be renewed. For more information on best practices for linking, please watch our stable linking video found in the description below. Dalhousie Library staff can assist you with providing access to resources from our databases within your courses in Brightspace. With our e-reserve service, our staff will research licenses and provide PDFs or links where appropriate. To learn more about this service, visit https colon slash slash libraries.dal.ca slash services slash course dash reserves dot html. Thanks for watching. For subject guides, live help, other online tutorials, and contact information for the five Dalhousie libraries, check out the links in the description below.